We've got a quick pup date. Uh, okay, these are the kittens. Say hi, Peter. And there's Stink. Okay, on the puppies. All the pups are doing well. And so is Mummy. Okay, welcome to the Terry Tracker channel. Uh, and for a change, the weather is rubbish. I want to ask you guys a question. Um, I want some advice. As you know, I'm growing out the top of my hair, as you can see. Um, but the product I use, once it's on, it sets. It sets hard. I want something that makes it look like this, so it looks a little bit wet. Um, because if I leave my hair to go dry, it just goes to a big frizz. And I end up look, looking like Sajo Bob or Sajo Mel of The Simpsons. So I want to know if you guys know of any product that I can use that would allow it to style, but also allow it to move. So put your suggestions in the comments down below. Look how fast these clouds are moving. Jeez Louise. Went to Newcastle Airport to watch some aeroplanes land and take off, hopefully. Uh, the weather's windy, so hopefully we're going to see some rough landings and some rough takeoffs, depending on which runway they use. There's only one runway at Newcastle, but it's classes two because there's runway 25 and runway 07, because one's at, uh, it's, it's the degrees that it's on, 250 degrees or 70 degrees. Um, so yeah. That's where we're heading now. Fingers crossed we get to see some decent takeoffs and landing. Um, Newcastle Airport's a fairly small airport, so and due to COVID, there's a lot of restrictions on the on how many flights is coming in and out. There's never any big aeroplanes coming in and out of here. The only one that is um, is the Emirates, and I think I've missed that one. I think which is a Boeing 777. That's the biggest aeroplane that comes in and out of Newcastle. But we'll see, we'll see what's there when we get there. Well, this is Newcastle Airport. Uh, and it's changed since the last time I was here. This fence, this secondary fence, has been erected since the last time I was here. So there's now two fences to look through. Um, the last, well, all the other times I've came here, that fence wasn't there. And you were fine standing here, as on, up to that road, Unless you went across the other side of the road, as soon as you went across the other side of the road, went up the other fence, you got wrong. Um, standing this side was okay of the road, but now they've put another fence up, and yeah, looks like they're trying to stop you standing here and watching the aeroplanes. Uh, obviously. Oh man, they're landing the opposite way to the best way for us. Um, they're coming in this way, there's one just about to come in over there. Uh, and obviously taking off this way. I like it when they land this way and take off. So starting there and going off. Many move positions. Typical. Not sure if you can see that on this camera without the zoom.
as you can see I've changed positions I've drove around the other side of the airport and to the other side of the runway um, but now I'm having to walk around to where the planes will come overhead I'll try and use my phone on a couple of landings I think because um, I don't think you guys can see how much they're actually shaking and moving around during the flight during the landing sorry uh, well approach got there in the end uh, but yeah we'll see what footage we can get for you runway There's no more flights for nearly an hour. Uh, going home. That's it for today. Uh, we're going to film our second Swedish snacks, candy, all that good stuff. Uh, we're going to do the second one of that now. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Now it's time to do a job.